Just in tonight, a surreal story from the world of politics. The running mate for RFK Jr. is publicly revealing that she re received a letter from Democratic Congressman Ro Khanna. Nicole Shanahan says that Khanna is asking her to step down from the ticket because his candidacy hurts President Biden's chances. Shanahan says, in part, Ro encouraged me to run, that it's wrong for anyone to threaten me against running. She goes on to say, clearly Roe has changed his stance based on pressure from his party, that it's anti-democratic. I'm very disappointed that he has been pressured into issuing this letter to me publicly. He could have called me privately. Now, the congressman is here with us tonight, and he joins me to respond in a moment. But first, remember, a campaign official for RFK said that her number one priority is to prevent Biden from winning. And tonight, CNN's K-File reports that Rita Palmer attended a Stop the Steal rally, including the rally that preceded the Capitol insurrection. She also has posted praise for Trump, including the hope that he wins in 2024 and that he's her favorite president, she says. Congressman Ro Khanna joins me now. Congressman, we have this letter. We just received it that you sent to Nicole Shanahan. What did you say to her? Well, look, I've known Nicole Shanahan for years. Uh, she's been a supporter. Uh, I would say she's an acquaintance. And we've shared common issues around the climate, common issues around reproductive rights. And when she called me to say that she was going to join uh, Robert Kennedy's ticket, I said, well, Nicole, why don't you join the Democratic coalition, support President Biden? Uh, he will better advance climate. I understand you have disagreements with the president. I do, too, on certain issues like Gaza, but join the coalition. And then I texted her that, always respectfully, but I was hoping to make the case that her issues would be better served joining the coalition. So she says that you changed your position, that you actually told her that anyone should run and shouldn't be threatened for doing so. She posted a, uh, uh, your uh, this exchange on X, and then you responded to her with a text that you sent her afterwards. What's your response to her claiming that you're not telling the truth? Well, I don't think she's saying that. I did say that anyone has the right to run and that no one should threaten her or no one should engage in character assassination of her, and I stand by that. And even in the text I sent her, I said, look, she has absolutely the right to run, and I will never disparage her personally. But I will make the case, I'm making the case tonight, that given the stakes, given her own view in regenerative agriculture, on climate, on reproductive rights, uh, how could she aid a candidacy that's simply going to help reelect Donald Trump? And uh, I want to make the case for her that she'd be better served supporting Joe Biden. So by all of this, are you saying that you are worried that an RFK candidacy will end up costing President Biden the election? I think the president can win regardless, but will it make it harder for the president? Absolutely. I mean, uh, I, I don't think that is uh, revealing uh, any unique math. I mean, the reality is that uh, any third party candidates help Donald Trump because he cannot get to 50 percent. Uh, and so if we lower the ceiling of what he needs to get, it makes it uh, harder for the president to win. Do I think the president can overcome that? We can overcome that and win? Yes. But why diminish the odds and help tilt uh, any advantage to Donald Trump. Do you think that Nicole Shanahan is aware of what you are saying there, that this could end up resulting in a Trump presidency yet again? I don't know. I'd love to have that conversation with her publicly, maybe on, on your show. I mean, the, the, the reality is she's been extraordinary in funding regenerative agriculture in places like Iowa State. Uh, she has worked on big climate issues. And so I was perplexed, baffled, why she would choose uh, to enter at this time, uh, given the stakes that it's a binary choice. Ordinarily, I understand you want to get your views out, you want to push for reform, uh, but I hope she understands that what she is doing really uh, could put Trump back in the White House and, I, and undermine the goals that she believes in. I mentioned in tonight's reporting that uh, the New York-based RFK Jr. campaign official, she previously promoted these false claims that the 2020 election was rigged, and she actually attended the January 6th rally. What's your reaction to that? Well, it's appalling. Uh, look, I used to admire Robert Kennedy's environmental activism, and I just don't understand what he's doing. I mean, denying 
uh, that January 6th that the people who beat police officers vandalized the building uh, and were attacking colleagues of mine while I was in the complex, that that, that is somehow uh, just a form of protest, which is what he has said, and people shouldn't be prosecuted. And then uh, being more to the right, way more to the right than either Donald Trump or Joe Biden uh, on a unconditional support for Netanyahu. Uh, I mean, I just d don't understand what he's trying to achieve. Okay. Very interesting indeed. Congressman Ro Khanna, we would love to have you back on with Nicole Shanahan if the two of you would like to have that debate here on the air. Thanks for joining us tonight. Thank you, Abby.